shake it as you can see. We are out at the beach, but it happens to be wild. It's just that the wind is blowing and the wind is cold. I think it's one of those Winnie the Pooh days. It's kind of feel like a Winnie the Pooh day. Anyway, I guess we I guess we can still continue with news with old Pam's comments on the headlines of today. Oh, and they're saying, okay, I guess this is how we're doing it. Okay. And the jobs and the housing data bolster growth outlook. Unemployment at a two and a half year low. Well, oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to explain it to people. You can't borrow money to buy homes. The home prices are collapsing, and yet the home data is going is better than expected, which means it's really crappy. The uh, the people that were, less people were employed this month than they estimated was going to be un, uh, going to be employed. Over 400,000 people have filed for first-time unemployment, and uh, and it takes 125,000 people to get jobs to drop it by one tenth of a percent. They did 120,000 jobs created, and the unemployment rate went down by four tenths of a percent. It's a mathematical impossibility. They said, unless you're a product of the school systems of the modern day. Oh, an AS A S E A N gamble from Myanmar's regional leadership. I know. Obama is really assuming that a dic bunch of dictators give a damn about what anybody says. I mean, they've been in power since after World War II. The Michelle Yeoh has just made a movie, which basically got her banned from a lot of places in Asia, about the oh, really? imprisonment of a, of a, of a dissident. They, they're not going to change because they don't care about the money. They're insulated. They get, they get all they want from China. So, oh. therefore, what have they got to be scared of? And SAB Miller runs into tough trading in Europe and the U.S. Well, yeah, because uh, it, 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 basically these companies are all broke. They don't, you know, Obama doesn't let them, Obama's cracked down on them in this country, so therefore you're screwed. If he Basically, if he causes our uh, Security Exchange Commission to start an investigation of somebody for political reasons, it ruins the company. Oh, not like they would ever do that, right? I know. I know. Look, like, you're having fun with this. Playing, uh, I, I, oh. our, this is our baby 3D camera, folks. Is, you know what? It's our go-to backup. Because we left two other 3D cameras behind. I know. Now I'm sitting there going, where did I put that? <laughs> and you're going to have to find it. And UK press in dock over phone hacking and inquiry views. Oh, God. I mean, I'm getting, you know, you really get tired of this. It's just like they haven't got anything else to do but to say that we've got problems with phone hacking. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm going to try to explain to people. Hacking is a vernacular that they're using to explain all of the criminal misconduct that the tabloids are doing. They basically are going through people's trash, they're following them, they're basically uh, listening in on phone calls, they're listening, they're basically listening, reading emails. Everything that you can do that is shady, they're all doing it, but they've been doing it since the days I was a kid, folks. They just didn't call it phone hacking then. And Arabs in Israel to attend nuclear talks in Iran uncertain. Well, yeah, well, because what's going to happen, as soon as Obama allows the, the Iranians to get the nuclear weapon, all of the Arab countries are going to have nuclear weapons. And, oh, really? I mean, um, I heard somebody say that they're going to love the timing. They said by sometime in, 19, by in 2012, the nuclear weapons will be running wild in the Muslim world. And um, 2012 is the Mayans' date for ending of the world. Oh, is it? Yeah. And more Americans than not want health law repeal the poll. Well, yeah, they keep, no matter how many polls take, they say that they don't want this bloody thing. Democrats don't want it. Democrats, okay, it cannot be paid for. Everybody but Obama seems to understand it can't be paid for. Well, that and the left wing of the Democratic Party, they think, like Nancy Pelosi yesterday said, she looks at this as a means to get to single-payer system. Well, they can't pay it the way it is. I mean, it, it, it doesn't take, even, even if for a liberal Democrat, must get it through their heads. If you can't pay for it by forcing everybody to pay for it under the Obamacare law, how are you going to pay for it with a single payer? Mm. And did U.S. troops bring democracy? Iraqis have doubts. Only if they stay there with Obama running like a chicken with his head cut off. I know. You know, you know Obama, okay, here's what it says that Obama will pull all the troops out of Afghanistan, all the troops out of uh, Iraq, and then all hell is going to break loose in both countries. And they said that they will blame it all on Obama. I said, there's no way on earth, well, he's saying, these countries told us to get out. No, they didn't. 
Obama didn't basically, I mean, they, they don't want the Americans to, to have their military forces going because it's the only thing that's keeping the, the governments together. And U.S. opening formal probe into GM Volt fire risk. Isn't that amazing? Well, there's nothing to worry about other than the fact that they put the uh, uh, car that wasn't being driven, getting ready to be tested, caught fire, and that a car had been ran into in the side test, oh. caught fire later while it was setting doing nothing, and then one that was rear-ended caught fire. And they are said that the batteries are basically okay. The batteries are hazardous waste and can't be disposed of, and they want to turn out. So, and, and now they they can't. The batteries are so preponderous. There's no way of protecting them from from being hit. We could have told them that before, based on what the batteries are made out of. And, and you know why they don't allow those batteries on airplanes today? For that exact. Because they're a fire hazard. They can just all of a sudden catch fire. Are you serious? Yeah. Analysis Sprint Network upgrade may curb unlimited data. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, well, <laughs> there is no such thing as unlimited we, data. We've been talking about there being. No I mean, uh, I mean, nobody gets it through their head. Their idea of unlimited data. Well, you can only use so much in a month, so four gigabytes is well, going. Well, then that's not unlimited. No, uh, there's no. You know, when you pay for unlimited data, you're paying for a fixed amount. And if you go over that fixed amount of unlimited data, then they hit you for uh, an exorbitant rate for for going over your. And the people say, "Well, I bought unlimited. Well, our unlimited has limits." <laughs> yeah, a new mass translation launches in American parishes. <gasps> really? What are they changing? Uh, well, it, it, it's just um, uh, probably. Oh, I, I I know how it is. Just go, hey baby. You know, Christ guy, he's, he's this one of your <laughs> folks guy, you know. He's just, you know, he died. Actually, he really didn't die, man. He just didn't get what he needed, and he basically went back to that place on high. That's, that's called modern mass. Oh, they also have, uh, they, they, they uh, you know, um, they go, ah, I have a memory, memory, here we go. You know, or the, they basically hip-hop. The uh, the encyclicals. <laughs> I know. I think we're gonna realize that everybody doesn't listen to hip hop. Okay, I can remember years ago uh, when Pat Robertson was a young person when he was just starting out. He said, "If we cave into what everybody else is doing, we're just doing what everybody else is doing." And he was doing the straight, you know, uh, preaching and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you got these guys that aren't making any money off of the songs anymore. Uh, doing rock and roll versions, then they're doing uh, heavy metal versions, then they're doing rap versions, because when it all comes down to it, the guys that make the money, if they don't make the money, they don't keep doing it, folks. I mean, anybody know that Billy J, you know, B.J. Thomas was Billy Joe Thomas, the gospel singer. He couldn't make any money, so he became. Oh, really? He then went to, he went to rock then. Oh, and the other student loan problem, too little debt. <laughs> I know. Do you like it too little debt? No, uh, they owe like a trillion dollars, and Obama is preparing to give a. He's preparing to give a trillion dollars to you know. Well, these these kids they can't afford it. Well, their parents did, and their par how their parents. You know what? It's like as long as I can remember, college was never easy to pay for. Oh God, if you whoever realize, had, right? Whoever was at college age, it's like there. There always is debate. It's like you were either. Yeah. Let's, let's just say it was never easy. Let's put it this way. I was in college it. before Not A Spring Chick's parents were out of high school. And it was costing me an arm and a leg to go to college. I mean, we were talking, you know, uh, four or $500 a semester for books back then. Wow. And then you had to buy, uh, colleges didn't have all the equipment that they have today. And we had to buy our own stuff to play with. You know, we were buying gym clothes, we were buying uh, film equipment, we were buying animation equipment. You know, we we were really being screwed, so, I mean, I mean, I had to borrow money my last year in college to buy a camera to do my graduation project. Oh, with. really? Because college didn't have those things in those days. An Afghan woman jailed for being raped wins rare pardon. I know, isn't that something? If you get attacked, if a Muslim woman gets attacked, it's her fault. I know, that is... They generally, they stone them to death and things like that, or what they, I always like the really good one, is that um, if, uh, th I love this one, if she disgraces her family, all the male family, all the male members in the family have to rape her to get back her, uh, get back the family's pride, and then they kill her. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, report, Pakistan gave okay to deadly NATO airstrike. Yeah, isn't that amazing thing now? 
but they said they uh, Pakistan gave the okay. Yeah, Obama's known it from day one. Oh. He wanted a campaign issue to get us out of uh, out of all that country. Now it comes out that Obama did know that they did give approval. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Actually, it's it's always best to check to see if you have the equipment with you before.